Today is just an absolutely stunning day here. I've been back at the lock where I introduced the V6 in the last video. Uh, but I'm at the other end of it and I found a little kind of sheltered area with nice reeds that the sun is just lighting up really nicely just now. But the one thing is that in this corner, I can't really get, there's nowhere close by where I can get close to the shoreline where it's dry so I can put down a hide or just go lie down and take photos of them. So today I'm going to have to kind of wade into the water a little bit. Uh, it just, just at least a little bit into the reed so I can get a view back of the photos that I want to be photographing. And for that, I'm really excited to introduce a new part of uh, Tragopon, and that is CamShield. CamShield is all about protecting the photography equipment that you have. And uh, introduce a few of the products today in this video. It is tripod waders. And they're going to keep my tripod dry and clean of any kind of muck or mud, water, anything like that. And I'll show you guys some other products as well, which I'm just going to show in some photos. And what CamShield is really specializing in now is uh, coming out with lens covers for the different um, lenses for photographers. So the first one we're coming out with is the Canon 300 f 2.8 uh, Mark II. And uh, as you can see on the photo here, it comes in two different uh, camouflage patterns. Uh, one of them is the, kind of the one I have here. This is the spring pattern, which is a little bit brighter. And then there's the other one, all year one, which is a little bit more faded uh, camouflage color. But it's part silicon, so that also protects some of the parts of um, your lens, such as where the little buttons are, where you can change from, you know, manual to autofocus and you know different um, image stabilization modes. And you can actually move those buttons uh, through that silicon, but it protects it from the elements and sand and grit and all those kind of things. So we're very excited about that. Do check them out on the website. So you've got a string up here, so get the tripod leg in through here. And then we still got a little bit to go, drag that up. And you just kind of, you can take this all the way up here just to make sure that it's tied up top. I mean, I can adjust these through here so I could untighten um, this tripod leg, flick it up, tighten it again. So it's, and this just kind of folds up along with it. And then unscrew it again. And you just kind of wiggle it through the bag all the way down, tighten it again. So it's kind of just a little bit of a process that you just get used to when you do it a couple of times. But that's basically it. Now I want to show you guys one more cool feature that we're also releasing. And that is this. It's a shoulder pad for your tripod. This just creates for a lot more comfortable. It has this kind of dip for your shoulder. It allows that to just sit on there, get your tripod leg through there. You got room here just to kind of put it through one of the tripod legs. I've tightened these two here around the tripod leg. And then I get this cover film here and then just use the velcro lock here the outside like that and there we go that's that kind of lined up on my shoulder then we can go So as I was waiting for birds to come back, I got a little bit bored. So I've been taking little dead wood that's been lying on the ground here, fairly thick. I've been dragging it out here. I've basically made myself a little chair. And 
that means I'm, I'm lower, I'm comfortable, and I'm, I can sit there under the camo net, I'm covered. So I'm gonna spend the next hour, maybe two hours of the daylight today and just sit here and wait. And hopefully we'll get something. So I have to kind of shoot through that little pocket because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk in there and try and remove anything. I'm just gonna sit here and hopefully I'll come in my view. pair of gold my come in and land. At first, right in front of me, uh, managed to get a couple of images, but I don't think they worked out. And then they kind of followed the edge along here. And they ended up on the other side, and they were there for a long time. Uh, and I couldn't really get a photo or anything like that. I filmed a little bit then. Uh, but then they came back over, and I had one of them really close, the female really close. Uh, and then after that, the male came a little bit closer as well. So I got a few images there, which I'm very happy about because I've been out here for pretty much all day. Uh, I mean, it's short days, but still. But I really like this setup. I had like a little tunnel through the reeds that I could photograph, um, that I had a clear view of. But, you know, it's a little bit to the sides. There'll be individual reeds that would kind of block my view and, you know, throw off my focus. So. It was difficult, but worth it. And it was quite cool because this whole stretch here is like this and I can't really lie down all the way uh, close to the shoreline unless I have some kind of floating hide or floating device, something like that. So this little chair here, sitting down lower, at least I got a nicer angle, but it was still up a little bit high. So I might play around a little bit with that, see if I can even get it further down uh, next time. But for this video though, I think that's it. Mostly I just wanted to show you guys the new products. So we got here the Avocet um, tripod waders, which I've been having on now. I'll take them off now so you, can, so you guys can see how that works. And also the um, shoulder pads, it's quite comfortable to carry this on. These tripod waders come in two uh, different camouflage patterns. So this is the brighter kind of spring color and we got it all, all year round as well, which is more like this one here. Uh, we also have two different sizes of these here. There's one large, one small, depending on what tripod and kind of setup and lens you have. And we're also coming out with uh, these kind of wrap around uh, tripod protectors for the upper upper part, the upper leg of the tripod. Uh, be sure to check out all these new products on our website um, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, so that you can be notified as soon as we come out with the new covers for new lenses um, and hopefully the one that you have as well. So, until next time, see you then.